Hey guys, it is Fluffy Says here, back at it with another video for you guys today. This video is going to be the first and hopefully a very long series where I review a new game that came out within the last 30 days. The goal of this series is to find those less known games and bring them to light. Since this is the first episode, I'll be going over what you should expect from this series. For starters, I will post an episode either every Monday or every other Monday depending on the amount of new releases. On these Mondays, expect a review of an Oculus Quest game that came out within the last month. These games will be anywhere from fantastic to god awful and a complete waste of money. With that being said, if you are excited for this new series, hit that like button down below and leave a comment telling me which new game I should review next week. Now that we got that self promo out of the way, let's jump straight into today's review of Jupiter Grad VR. The new game for this Monday is called Jupiter Grad. It is currently available on the Oculus and Steam store for 15 US dollars. This well designed and beautiful game was created by the lovely lads at Game Dust. When first booting up the game, the first thing to grab your eye, other than the fact that you have plungers for arms, is the simplistic, gripping art style similar to the new Jurassic World game that launched about a month back. As well as the visuals, Jupiter Grad has an amazing soundtrack that can go from chill Russian bop to an intense life-threatening panic on a dime. Moving on, once navigating into the main storyline, you're instantly greeted by your Russian commander via an intercom as you slowly ride down an elevator with a large front window displaying a giant rocket. It is here that you learn that you found out you were given these plunger arm grapplers in order for you to succeed on your mission to Jupiter. Once you finish the introduction, you're given a little tutorial that will teach you the mechanics of your arms. It is here that you learn about the momentum and feel of how to use your grappler arms. You're also introduced to these little jet pods on either one of your arms, which you can use to swim in water or gain extra speed while in the air. I don't actually know if you're supposed to use them to gain more speed in the air while you're swinging, but I sure like to. Once you finish the tutorial, you are taken to a space station called Jupiter, where you must keep the space station running in tip top shape in order to help the people. It is here where the title Portal with Plungers can be seen very clearly. As you start your mission, you are given an AI friend which will constantly give clever quips similar to GLaDOS in Portal. Along with that, the story is also very similar. Spoiler warning, skip to the timestamp on screen if you don't want spoilers. Just like in Portal, you start off helping the main antagonist who you believe is your friend. You start in this game by helping the general as you fix up the space station. But once realizing you were being lied to and that the pickle is a weapon and not a tool, you turn on the general. And in a fit of anger, you destroy the entire space station. However, the similarities don't end with the story and companion, as the level design and art follows Portal as well. When fixing up the space station, you will move through chambers solving puzzles that focus on your movement mechanics. All of these chambers are big and cubular, giving plenty of room to swing and fly as you dodge fans, flames, meat grinders, and bottomless holes with poisonous gas. Putting Portal aside, the game is very entertaining with a few of the jokes actually making me laugh. The puzzles were very fun and not too complicated, keeping the focus on the swinging. Each new chamber used the plungers and jets in a new way that was both fun and rewarding. I had a blast playing the game and I would definitely buy it again. However, I do have one critique which could actually go to show how much I enjoyed the game and that is the length of the campaign. Personally, I felt like the campaign was just way too short, only taking about two hours. Sure, once you're done with the campaign, you can go to the online racing, 
but personally once the campaign is over, the races feel more tedious than anything. Luckily from how they ended the story, I think it is possible for a future DLC to be coming. My final thoughts are if you enjoy fun games that really take advantage of VR, you will like this game. If you have the money to buy it, I would say go for it. The $15 price tag is a little high for about 2 hours of story, but the quality is both well polished and well put together. If this game does look interesting to you, you can check it out using the link down in the description. I will have both the Steam page and the Oculus page for it. Once again, you can get this on either PC or on your Oculus Quest natively. With that being said, that is going to wrap up today's video. If you enjoyed, please hit that like button down below and subscribe if you want to see more of my videos. If you want me to continue this series, leave a comment down below telling me what games I should do next. Thank you to my members, you guys are absolute mad lads, my little lettuces, my bear cubs, and my mama bears. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out, everybody. Bye.